Hi, this is Sonia with Artsy Solutions, and I want to show you this. It's like a scrapbook slash journal kind of deal. <laughs> and basically, it has like a love, family, ancestry kind of feel to it. So, and it measures approximately, let's see, it's about, I'd just say seven inches wide by let me see about 12 inches long or tall so so I have a pocket here and this comes out and I just kind of I actually stitched these together and then put some washi tape on it and then I have this little um, these embellishments here it's just some cheesecloth and some uh, jewelry that I had, some jewelry pieces, and then here's another little jewelry piece that I made in another video. And I just kind of added those together. And then I have this, um, it's kind of like a bookmark, it's a little clear. You can use it as a bookmark and holder, and it has like a flat pin in here. And I made these flat pins in another video. Oops. So that comes out, and then there's like a little tag. And I just kind of did some stitching around it or whatever. And I added some stickers, some of those bubble stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree on here. Just slide that down in there and put this back in here. And then it flips over. And uh, you also have a little tuck spot here. And I just put these little uh, leaves in here because it kind of looks like a tree, kind of like a family tree. So I just decided to add that in there along with this um, just a journalman spot, this piece of paper. And like I said, this right here, this uh, album is kind of like a family, it's like a family uh, love album. So I'm going to end up putting like pictures and different things like that in here. So, and then I also have this little, um, it's like a little confidential classified envelope that I created and it just has some ephemera in here and I've gotten some of this ephemera I put it in another uh, video when I made some of the components on the inside of this book and uh, basically this is just housing some of the information of my family like historical records and photos and I can use these as journaling spots so I'm just gonna put these back in here Close this back up so and then there's a pocket here and then there's this pocket here okay and then it just flips up like this I don't know if you can see that or not but I did some stitching around the edge of it I'm gonna let's lay it down little by little see if I can get it in frame so you've basically got you have a pocket here right here and then you have another pocket and these come out then you have another pocket back here and then you have these tuck spots back here And um, just a little double sided tag and this little envelope I made. And I, most of these papers and things that I used in here, I put like the different types of love, like agape love and the meanings and philia, storage, all that. These are from my love and ephemera, love papers and ephemera kit off of Etsy. And um, I just added an embellishment to it. So I'm just going to put this back in here. And then uh, with this right here, it's just a little pocket and a um, guest check list or whatever. And I just did some stamping and I did some rub on transfers with that. And then I used some more of the little Dollar Tree. Uh, puffy stickers 
and then I made this. Um, this was from my Alchem History uh, paper line on Etsy. I decided to just add this in here just to give it a little kick. And then I have a little space right here for a pen. Just lean that back and then this comes out and then you have your ballpoint pen. Okay, so I'm just going to slide this back in the frame for this next section. And uh, let's see here. This comes off of here. I made this little clear pocket and I used some rub on transfers for the text. And then there's a tag and this have a little sticker on here. And this uh, brown, this is just a piece of the Tim Holtz packaging. I just I left it literally as is because I like I like the packaging, the colors that are on there, and you can see it right there, Tim Holtz ideology. And um, let's see, this stamp comes out. There's a pocket in here, right here. There's a pocket. And once again, I did some more of that uh, Rebel and Transfer. So there's a pocket here, and then the pocket down in here. And then this comes off. And you have an envelope here. And I'm just going to put some like family photos and things in here. So I, I made it to where it, I, it's going to be like a photo album. Like I said, it's like a cross between a photo album and a journal. So I can add all kinds of extra stuff in here as I find it. And then I just added some more ephemera and some washi tape right here. And I'll put all this stuff back in here a little later. And then this flips up. And this also has like a magnetic closure. That flips up and then um, I have what I did when I printed out the love, um, the paper just right here. I printed it out at like, I think it was like 110 or 115 percent. I printed it out bigger so that I could get a bigger, um, a bigger shape of it. So I put these on different papers. And then here's some more ephemera. Here's a little book that I made with copy that paper in it. And this is also from the Alchem History Digital Kit on Etsy. And then here's some stamping that I did. And this comes from the Love Papers and Ephemera Kit also on Etsy. I'm just going to put this back in this little pocket. And then this flips up. And then I have like another little pocket right here. And I just added a little die cut window. And then here's some little shapes and things and ephemera. Some tags and a little journal and spot here. And then I made this tag along with some other ones on another video using up scraps. Put this back in here. And then um, here's some more pockets. And this one comes from, this is also from the Love Papers and Ephemera Kit. And then here's some, some more ephemera. This Bonjour actually comes from another kit on Etsy. I'll have to look it up. I can't even think of the name of it because it is mine, but I can't think of the name of it right now. And here's just a little window that I added some uh, acetate to. It's like a photo pocket. And then here are some tags. And then here's some more ephemera. So, and then this flips over. And then I have another little pocket right here. And I'm just going to probably put, like I said, photos and things like that in here. And 
for some more tags and journaling spots. And um, here's this right here, and I showed this in another video and how I constructed it. Let me take this off. Basically, um, I'm not going to go into detail, but um, it has like an interactive spoon. This little spoon comes out and back in, and this flips up. There's a pocket here, and I, I took out some of the stuff that was in there from the previous video. This, And there's also a pocket right here. This opens up, and like I said, it's basically just, um, it's the theme is ancestry, and I just have like some um, ancestry papers, the grid, the family tree grid of some of my ancestors, or my grandparents, who's inside of here. So that's what most of this is on both sides. And then this tucks into here. And then same thing over here, and this flips out. And then you have my grandparents. And then I use some of the words uh, like pragma, enduring love, eros, romantic love, agape, unconditional, selfless love. And like I said, when I printed it out, I printed it at a larger scale. And that's from that same Love Papers and Ephemeris kit on Etsy. And then I just added some of these. Um, what do you call it? Flourishes. It's from the Tim Holtz die. And then uh, Heritage and Memories. I added that on there. Oh yeah, and then this slides up. It's a little bingo card that I made. This is also part of that kit. And then this opens up. And then there's me and my husband. <laughs> That's from my life. Um, this is also a digital kit that comes on Etsy. Uh, it's a 12 by 12 um, photo, uh, live and let live. It's a PNG thing where you can crop your picture and edit it in Photoshop or whatever. So that closes back up. And then this right here slides back down into there. And it keeps it sealed. Let me put this back in here. That closes back, that closes back. And I'm using this little clip to kind of keep these sealed together so it doesn't move all over the place. And then this slides down. And then you have a pocket right there. And then I have some more ephemera. And then, like I said, I took some of these tags and things from previous videos and uh, previous uh, paper lines. This is, like I said, from the Alchem History paper line on Etsy. So, um, and then I slide this down and um, so you have a pocket right here and I just have some ephemera. And this is from the, I can't think of the name of that kitty. That I, I'll have a link in the description of all the kits that I used within this journal. And then I had made this. This was actually from Artie Mays. Um, there was a picture. She had some freebie digitals. And I cut out. There was an image of a little girl. And I cut it out. But I kept the frame. And um, I made this from it. And then I just cut out this. Um, I think this is from Graphic 45. The, the little pin. And then you flip this over. This is definitely, I think, Graphic 45. And then this comes out, and um, this is just like a little journaling spot. And I just did some stamping all over that. I made this last year, I think. I might have made it year before last. I don't know. I've had so much stuff sitting around. I'm like, I've got to put this to use. Okay, so then this um, this is going to flip up, and then I have some. These little stickers are from Seven Gypsies. And then you have like a little tuck spot here. Like right here, like a little belly band tuck spot. And then um, this is from one of my freebie kits on Etsy. This is not on Etsy, but on my blog. Or no, my Facebook page. I've got so many different things going on. This is also from, both of these are fr from freebie kits, these envelopes on my Facebook page. So, yeah, and that's room. I can put pictures and things in there. 
and once again I have a magnetic closure with this right here that closes magnetically and then this kind of flips up and then the last page I have another um, envelope this is confidential or whatever and then it just it also has some more uh, my ancestry papers and things like that in it and also there's a tuck spot here behind this little bird and then there's a tuck spot in this little blue pocket and then there's a tuck spot behind the brown pocket well the brown pocket is where it's like the belly band so I'm just gonna come in from the bottom so that goes in like that and then I can put this in this pocket and this one in the front pocket so the blue actually has two pockets so and then the white uh, the bird has a little pocket right here down at the bottom and that's pretty much it so I'm just gonna close this up and some of the stuff fell out of it but that's okay I'll figure out how to keep it sealed in and not falling all out all over the place but yeah this is basically it I hope you liked it and enjoyed it and um, maybe got some ideas off of it and like I said I have videos on how I made some of the stuff that's in here so if you're interested just check it out check out my videos my blogs my social media um, and my other stuff so yeah um, and thanks for watching